this problem, we are given that a, b, c, d are positive numbers such that the sum of their squares equals 1. Our goal is to find the minimum value of the expression 6 a cubed plus 8 b cubed plus 12 c cubed plus 24 d cubed. To solve this, we will use the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. Let's define k as 6 a cubed plus 8 b cubed plus 12 c cubed plus 24 d cubed. We want to find the minimum value of k, so we'll apply the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. By Cauchy-Schwarz, we have the inequality. The quantity a over 6 plus b over 8 plus c over 12 plus d over 24 times k is greater than or equal to the square of a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared. Since a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared equals 1, we substitute that into the inequality and simplify. This gives us the following result. Next, we define j as a over 6 plus b over 8 plus c over 12 plus d over 24. By applying the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality again, we can bound j. Now, let's calculate j squared. Using the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality, we know that the quantity 1 over 6 squared plus 1 over 8 squared plus 1 over 12 squared plus 1 over 24 squared multiplied by the sum of a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus d squared is greater than or equal to j squared. We can now simplify this further. After calculating the sum of the constants, it gives us a lower bound for j squared. Using the inequality j times k is greater than or equal to 1, and knowing the lower bound of j, we get that k is greater than or equal to 24 over the square root of 30. Equality holds when 6a equals 8b equals 12c equals 24d. Solving these ratios, we find that a equals 4 over the square root of 30, b equals 3 over the square root of 30, c equals 2 over the square root of 30, and d equals 1 over the square root of 30. Substituting these values back into the expression confirms that the minimum value of k is indeed 24 over the square root of 30. So, the minimum value of 6 a cubed plus 8 b cubed plus 12 c cubed plus 24 d cubed is 24 over the square root of 30. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more problem solving videos.